This is my review of the Dramita SC4.18 Brushless Edition. So first let's start off with the controller. It's a pretty standard pistol grip controller with a little bit of adjustments here in the back like your throttle and steering sensitivity or you can reverse your throttle and steering in the on off switch. Then over here there's your throttle trim and your steering trim and then you have proportional steering along with proportional throttle. So next on the list is the battery. Um, this car comes with this battery. It's a, it's a nickel metal hydride, 7.2 volt, 1,300 milliamp hour battery. Has a nice long cord with a pretty good connector. I mean, it's really easy to slide in and out. Don't matter if there's no matter if there's sand or corrosion. So that's basically all there is for the battery. It's really small, and I would recommend upgrading it to a lipo since this car is lipo compatible. So on to the next piece, this is the charger. It comes with a really blocky trickle charger up here. It takes about four hours to charge. And then it also has, which is kind of nice, an AC adapter, which tells you if it's charged or not charged, and same little connector. It's really nice. That's really all there is for the charger. So now for the final part, this is the chassis. So it's a fully waterproof vehicle in a tub-like chassis. Um, with a nice large battery compartment. It seems large, but it's kind of hard to stuff that nickel metal hydride in there. So like most short course trucks, it comes with a huge rear bumper. And the same on the front with little fake lights. Um, the shocks, they have a nice spring rate, but they are way too soft. I mean, it's not that big of a deal unless you're going off huge jumps. So the motors really small it's right next to the on off switch here which sometimes if your motor gets too hot it'll start to melt the on off switch which sucks um then there's your esc your receiver and your servo is right up here now no i've had to change out my servo but i put the exact same one back in because mine came with a faulty servo and also already so far i've stripped my pinion and spur they were just from the factory put on wrong which is just bad. So then, that's really all there is for the chassis in the middle. Let's go drive. This is the driving portion of the Dramita SC4.18 Brushless Edition truck. So first off, let's just do some fast little speed runs. On the box, this thing says it'll reach up to 35 miles per hour, which is faster than the tractor slash, and this thing is a lot smaller. Now, one thing that always has seemed to happen to me with this car is you always get stuff caught up like that. You always have to pull that out. That's just because I kind of crashed over there into the... So, so that's the throttle right there. See, it's got... A decent amount of speed grip. The tires are not at all grippy. You can slide out whenever you want. So if you want to get some hands to the donuts like that, it's kind of grippy. Okay. Here's some more driving footage of just the fastening. Back on seat. So you all probably heard that noise when my car completely stopped moving and just made that ugly sound. That was from that time I went off that jump and crashed. 
It wasn't a big fix. It only took me five minutes, but it could shred your spur if you don't fix it immediately. My pinion gear in here was about to fall off of the mount, which was, it was just shredding away my spur. There's a little bit of that, but it's still a drivable, and I have a replacement somewhere around here. Don't know where, but... And so if you get this car, that's going to happen. That's happened to me twice so far. First time, I didn't stop driving. Shredded my spur and pinion completely. That was a $15 fix for my stupidity. So if you don't have the self-control to stop that from happening, this is not the car for you. But overall, I think the Jomita is a great deal for what you get. You get a nice brushless system, completely waterproof electronics, and that's really all in a sweet body. Body's really nice and really protects the car. Especially for 150 bucks, it's like a perfect gift. I mean, you can buy the brushed version for 100. It only goes um 20 miles per hour instead of 35, but still really fun, great gift, great for just driving around, great entry level car. It's my first and RC car and I love it. I've driven them before. I've driven my friends Traxxas. This thing, I like it more than a Traxxas. That really sums up my review. See y'all next time.